and uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys today about digital media creation. It's a class that's offered at Plymouth State University. And, um, and it's an interactive class um, with a programming system called Alice, where you learn how to create videos and even um, even gaming systems, games like. Tetris or something you can create with a program like this fairly easy, but I mean, if you know what you're doing, it's kind of it's kind of tough. There's a lot of a lot of programs and formulas that you have to put in to make things happen. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys today some things that I created in class to give you a little feel for what you're what you'll be doing. Um, and uh, it's a, the class is it's a half a lecture and a half a lab. It's one day a week. So, for example, I went on Mondays, and I would I would get there at five o'clock, go for an hour of the lecture and an hour in the lab in the computer lab where you just sit there and get your work done and figure out how to use the program. So this was one of them, just the turtle, and um, learned how to make the turtle move. It was just, this is one of the first, <coughs> the first things we did, so as you can see, the turtle's moving all around. Um, show you another one. This is a kangaroo. As you can see, there are more steps right here. These are the formulas that you have to develop, and it's fairly simple. Just go into properties, and you choose which atmosphere color, you know, that's how the sky's blue, and Ambient, ambient color, how bright you want it. Um, pretty much simple things. You make methods, um, which are these functions down here. And as you can see, it says do together. And the do together combines everything to happen at once. So the kangaroo goes up, the legs come down, it lands on the box. And the object of this just was to make a kangaroo hop. I'll restart that for you. It's a little choppy, but if you play it at a higher speed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's do one more for you guys. This is Squirrel riding a snowmobile. Um, you use events for this one. Events are a little more complicated. Uh, you can use arrows to do certain things. So, for example, I'm going to hit the right arrow, and the squirrel is going to go forward and say woohoo. So let's play it. Woohoo! <laughs> and uh, he also turns and looks at you when you make him go forward. And he can go backwards and say ooh ha. What does he say? Ooh ha? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These were words that the book asked us to, to put in there. So, woohoo, and ooh -ha. <laughs> And um, that's pretty much the class in a nutshell. It's, it's pretty fun. You get to work with a computer program that you've never worked with before. And the teacher was a nice guy. He was helpful. So I recommend taking it if you're into computers and you want to learn how to do some programming. Anybody have any questions? Or is there anything I didn't explain clearly? Good. What's this program for? Uh, digital media creation. So you digitally create media. <laughs> is it, is it, um, would it be a competitive product to class? No. 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 If you want, I mean, I guess you could make some sort of movie for like commercial or something if you wanted to, but I don't think it looks professional enough to to try to put out there. Do you know, um, did the instructor say where this is used more or is it more? It's used in college. In college classrooms more than yeah. Yeah. So how long does it take you to put together, say this one, the um, um, uh, well, uh, probably took about 30 minutes because you have to, well, I mean, there's an hour to learn how to do these functions, right. and then you can figure it out going step by step in the book and kind of playing with all the buttons. See, so these are all the functions right here. And then, 
Yeah, we're not going to do that today. But uh, basically, so you follow these. Keep building in more and more events and functions. Right, right. So it gets more complex and you get more movement. Yep, and see how it says like a snowmobile body, a flame, a uh, front box, or the blood torch. Like this, this snowmobile could be blown fire if that was part of my, you know, part of my homework. You can make the squirrel's tail move or his left leg. You do everything individually. So even though his whole body's moving, it might take 10 steps to make his whole body move. Mm -hmm. so, any other questions? Just have three, but and you don't have any prerequisites for this at all? Nope, no prerequisites. And you can take it first semester, freshman year, if you'd like to.